Japanese man. How big was that thing for you? It was good. That was sick. Fun. Is it the, is it the most fun you've had in a fight ever? Uh, Maybe with a couple rounds as, as an exception. But. <coughs> yeah, I mean, that was pretty fun. I was, uh, I'm sick. That was pretty fun. Did, uh, he seemed stunned by the scores. You seemed absolutely fine with him. Uh, even the 49-46, did that one surprise you? You had four rounds to one on him? Oh, yeah, I think, I mean, he held me for a while with the body lock and everything, but I think on the feet, I I put him, I had him wobbling a few times. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know what Kevin Lee thinks about a lot of the times, so I, I think, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what that guy thinks. You really seemed to light him up a lot in the fourth and the fifth round. Was that any type of game plan going in to get into those deeper rounds with him because you thought he'd be stronger than uh, the game plan was to make it look easy, go in there and finish him in the first round. Obviously, if the fight goes on longer, I think it's my advantage. It's to my advantage. Uh, I, I know, I know that Kevin Lee will never beat me in the fourth and fifth round. I just his chance was to get me early, and you know, the longer the fight goes, the better I get. So I was just, I was just visualized. I've seen that fight in my head. I watched it last night. I. I saw that fight last night. You screamed something at the end of the fight. Too. What was that? I was just, all, you know, a lot of emotion, uh, a lot of his talking, a lot of him, you know, dancing out to the cage, just outfits and all that shit, trying to whatever the free. What is he like? You know, this is how it's done. Look at me. I'm the way. I'm the way that this thing is done. You know, I do this thing right. So I went out there and I showed him how to fight. He's, he's big, he's strong, he took me down, and he, he held me a few times, but, you know, if that fight, if the, if that fight's 10 rounds, how do you think that's going to go? You know, there's no, that guy's not beating me. It's not happening. You mentioned uh, Khabib in the cage, right? Yeah. Uh, he tweeted out some congrats to you, said he was waiting all night for that fight. I mean, if that's something that he's receptive to, I mean, how stoked would you be for that to get the rematch with him straight away after this one? If anyone deserves a rematch with Khabib, it's me. It's not freaking McGregor. McGregor had all the time in the world to prepare, and he, you know, he fought a, a he fought a good fight. But at the end of the day, you can train just like Kevin Lee. Kevin Lee can get better. He can train McGregor. He can get better. He can train. But there's something that you can't put in somebody, and he's got all that money now. He's he's not gonna he's not getting this. I got this. You can give me millions and billions of dollars, and I'll always have that. You're not getting me out of there. You're going to have to kill me. And uh, Khabib knows this. Kevin Lee knows this. Before the fifth round, we were standing there, and we were waiting. And I looked across the cage, and Kevin Lee was looking at me, and I said, same Al. You know, I'm the same Al, motherfucker. You know? And he realized. He said, oh, shit. You know, throw this flashback. I'm not getting this guy out of there. I'm going to have to kill him, and he can't kill me. So... I'm, I'm going to win that fight every time. Go, going into the fight, Kevin talked a lot about how he's improved a lot more than you since your first fight five years ago. How good did it feel to, to essentially silence him? Yeah, no, I felt that was, uh, I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. It, it's just, I've seen it. I've seen it a million times. He, I don't know how he wins the fight. It just, he's too slow on his feet. He's plotting. You know, I'm, mov I'm moving around. He's even the shots he hit me with didn't, you know, nothing really hurt me. You know, he took me, he's, he's strong. I'll give him that, he's strong. But even that, his, he, he holds on to takedowns. And the more he out-wrestles me, the tired he gets, the more tired he gets. We stand up on the feet and I'm going to pick him apart. It's just, he's a great fighter. I, I, uh, I respect his fighting skills a lot, but he's never, he's never going to beat me. It's, that's 2-0. and oh. You know, I don't know what he was talking about after the fact. I, I don't see us fighting again, and I, I don't see him ever beating me. Some might think that Kevin looked a little slower than usual. Of course he did. A hundred. Kevin Lee looked slower than normal. Khabib didn't look as good as he looked. There's a reason for that. They feel something in there. Masvidal didn't look as good as he looked. They feel something in there that no one else feels. I know, and there's a reason why I make people not them, you know? So everyone says, oh, these guys don't look, you know, they looked all right, they looked all right. There's a reason for that, and it's me, right? They, they know I'm not far, I'm not going anywhere. They, they know it. They can still, feel it. Do you still feel like you're overlooked a little bit? I mean, you were the underdog against 
keep, keep, tonight, keep overlooking me. Like I, that's fine. They could overlook me. Does that empower you? I mean, does that does that motivate you? Do you do you think about that kind of stuff in a, in a training camp that, no. that maybe people doubt you for some reason? No, I don't look at anything but myself. Kevin Lee was looking at me this whole time. He said he wanted to embarrass me. He wanted me to go back to the prelims. I didn't say I didn't want Kevin Lee to go back to the prelims. I didn't want Kevin Lee anything. I was looking at myself. I was saying I want to. I'm going to show you the best ally of Quinta. Uh, yeah, that's that's. Look, I'm doing this thing right. I I told you guys a million times. I'm the guy. And uh, you know, I'm every time and time and time again. I'm gonna just keep worrying about myself. I'm gonna do my thing. You haven't seen me in, in years. You haven't seen it, Khabib. That was not a gauge of my skills. Uh, before that, it was a, a quick knockout, and before that, I was off two years. I haven't been in the cage, but I've been working. I'm a better person than I was back then. I'm a better fighter. I'm a better. I'm just. I'm doing every. I'm just. I'm better. Did you talk to Dana after the fight? Did Dana say anything to you at all? Did you see him yet or not? I haven't. Uh, I haven't talked to him. But I, mean, I, just, I got a bonus, I think. Oh, you found that I'm pretty out sure I got a bonus. So. Is this the kind of fight, though, that, that continues to make him, you hope, a believer in you between this and the, the Khabib fight earlier this year? Yeah, you know, I want everyone to believe in me. Uh, I got I got great messages from, um, you know, Sean Shelby, Hunter Campbell. They reached out. They, I... I I'm just worried about myself. I'm doing the best that I can, and that's all I can control right now. That's uh, I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna keep doing better and better. That's it. I don't know. Again, I'm just worried about myself. I'm not. I. If he overlooked me, then that's his problem. But I. I don't know. So Connor and Khabib are obviously tied up. I, Ferguson, I think Ferguson's the guy, you know. I think, I, I think I'm a, I'm a perfect style matchup to beat him. I think Ferguson. I think if, if there's any holdup, that's the guy I want to fight. Like you were so patient tonight too, uh, a little more than usual. With somebody like Ferguson, you've got to get that high pace. Is that something you're going to work on too, being more patient and really waiting for that shot, especially with him? No, absolutely. I, I think he's been hurt in uh, just about. Yeah, he's been hurt a lot. He gets hurt in his fights, and he comes back. I think I'm a better finisher than the guys he's fought. I think I'm I'm getting the job done against Ferguson. I know you said uh, you don't really care if fans stop doubting you, but do you think they will? Do you think this performance will? I think so. Yeah, I think so. I a lot of people um, on Twitter. I scroll through Twitter. I've just when I'm bored, I go. Oh, I gotta freaking stay off the internet. But I scroll through. Twitter and I see what people say and everyone said I want Al to win but Kevin Lee's tough I don't think he's gonna you know they 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 wanted me to win their heart was with me but their head was kind of saying Kevin Lee um, so I think this fight definitely got their attention they they realized that uh, you know I'm the real deal so your first fight you took your back and you survived around the same thing this fight twice uh, what does it take to jump you out uh yeah, I'm pretty good at defending that. I'm pretty good at, at def defending that uh, that choke. But I think he that e even that he was working for the choke and he was gassing his arms out. He knew that he was gonna have to choke me unconscious to to, to choke you know to get the win. And I, I think he he didn't want to gas his arms out to really going for the choke because he knew he'd have to kill me. Um, and, and his arms got tired anyway. So it's I think it's just. I'm, I'm finding a stride in there. I, would I have loved to not get my back tick? Yeah, I, I think there's a lot of work to be done, but uh, I'm just having, I'm, I'm on cloud nine right now. This is my high school, Wanto Warriors. They uh, they had their alumni night tonight, Wanto Wrestling. So I wasn't able to be there, but they all got together after the match. They watched the fight at McCann's and Massapequa on Long Island. So I know there was a wild crowd there and I'm just, uh, I'm happy to get the win for them. I always think about them in McCann's watching the fight and how crazy they must have been going. It would have, I would have, it would have killed me if it would happened any other way. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Top, you know, Kevin Lee's top guy, ranked number five. So I think I steal his spot, and now I'm looking at, I'm looking at a title shot of or one fight away, no matter where. Uh, 
This division's in a crazy spot, but um, we'll see how this plays out. I'm right there, and I can beat I can beat anyone in this division. Just real quick, Al, how much time are you spending with uh, you spend with Matt Sarah defending the RNC for this this camp? A lot. I I spent a lot of time with Matt Sarah attacking rear naked chokes. I spent a lot of time. Uh, with the guys working my takedowns. I spent a lot of, I'm not just working defending shit, I'm working on attacking. Uh, tonight I had to defend a few things. Kevin Lee's good at, he's, he's strong. He took me down and, and I felt, that was a strength that not, I've, I've felt in, in not too many wrestlers. So he's strong, he's powerful, but it's not something I haven't felt before. And I, I get, I knew I was gonna get out of it. It was not, it was not, Earth shattering. I've been there before. I weathered it and it worked out in my favor.